Hey man, thanks for coming in. These are the guys I was telling you about. Don't they sound awesome? Yeah, they sound pretty good. You're lying. They're pretty heavy. What did you say their name was again? Trip to Fan Coma. All right, guys, take five. That's a pretty unique name. What's the concept? They're the world's first death metal band based around Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Do you really think that'll sell? Oh, absolutely. It'll piss off all the religious people and anybody who loves the concept of Thanksgiving. And as we both know, pissing off people is a staple of death metal music. The Thanksgiving? How do you even write a death metal song about Thanksgiving? Actually, it's a lot easier than you think. Here's a few clips from their latest EP, Cornucopia of Blood. Hmm. Mayflower Mayhem, Pilgrim Massacre, Cranberry Circumcision. All very interesting titles. Very metal. Absolutely. They've created a very strong local following, and I think they're ready to go national. But... But what? Well, there's one obstacle we're still trying to overcome. And that is... <laughs> They're only good for about three songs, and they have to take a nap. Can't you pump them full of energy drinks or something? Well, we tried that. But that way, they're only good for about three songs and they have to take a piss. Which means we have to keep a porty potty backstage every show. Doesn't seem like that big of a deal. It wouldn't be, except we have to watch out for them drinking too much. If they get too drunk, we run the risk of them tipping over the porta potty We may have had that happen a couple times. The stench that they put out can really kill a show. But it did inspire their new song, Blue Water Death. Well, I do like how they sound, and I'm interested in signing them, but I need to hear a little more. Absolutely. Hey guys, wake up. Let's hear that new song. Cadaver Stuffing. Why the feet of 